So you're thinking about moving to Woodstock, Georgia, but you're wondering what's it like living in Woodstock, Georgia? What does the real estate around Woodstock, Georgia look like? What are maybe some homes for sale or values in the Woodstock area? And that's exactly what we're gonna cover in this video. We're gonna deep dive into everything you need to know on this tour, and I'm gonna do it by walking around and physically showing you all there is to offer in Woodstock, along with maybe some of the things you might not like because let's face it the feature is always the flaw there is bad with the good and we'll talk about both of those so stick around to the very end you don't want to miss a beat by the way this is meant to be an interactive community I'm gonna ask you a lot of questions I would appreciate it if you would comment below because the way we make better videos is to get feedback from you and your comments actually provide value for everyone else who's looking at the Woodstock area and if you live in Woodstock and you think I messed up or did something wrong or got something right then you know feel free to join the conversation I'm starting here in this little residential area of downtown downtown Woodstock is actually right there just like half a block half block and so we're gonna walk through there but I wanted to start off with just some context and uh, we're gonna walk through the residential area I'm gonna show you the downtown area I'm gonna talk about the greater Woodstock area and we're gonna get after it right now well, as we get started, I'll share a little bit about just like the demographics and the data uh, about Woodstock. Before I do, right down there, nice shaded path. You see it says for resident use only. This is a private park walking path. There's also a pool, cabana, tennis courts, all that's over there. And as you can see, you've got some nice single family homes and then you've got some townhomes that are connected and then you've even got some condos up there. So right now the condos up there they go from anywhere from like five to six hundred thousand. Uh, the townhomes are around the eight, and then the single family homes easily get to a million, maybe even a little over a million. Uh, one of the things that not meant to be a knock on Woodstock or a negative, but I call Woodstock like the affordable alternative to Alpharetta. Now, I live in Alpharetta, but the area I live in could be Canton, could be Woodstock, could be Alpharetta, and then it's just as easy for me to get to. Woodstock as it is to Canton or Roswell or Alpharetta, but I'm talking about the downtown area. Everything we're going to talk about that's here in Woodstock, you, you can be found in Alpharetta. Alpharetta is arguably, I don't know if it's much of an argument these days, it's the best suburb of Atlanta, but it has gotten very pricey. And so if you want all of the same benefits that we're going to talk about in this video that you have in Alpharetta, but at a more approachable or affordable price, then Woodstock is definitely going to be an area that you want to consider. These are all condos and then coffee shops and boutiques and uh, restaurants. Right there you have 10, which is a sushi lounge. We're walking in, walking past canyons. Beat the line. So right here you have uh, ice cream, coffee shops, boutiques, restaurants, condos. If people come in here in canyons, I actually just met a friend over here at Pure Taqueria. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that I love Pure Taqueria. But I'm usually at the Alpharetta location. That was the original. But the one here, we had lunch. It's equally as delicious. So uh, I would recommend that if you're in the Alpharetta Woodstock or anywhere near a Pure Taqueria that you go in there. I got the Al Pastor tacos today. I usually get uh, the chicken fajitas when I'm with my wife so we can share them. But she wasn't with me. So got the tacos right over here, by the way. One of the pros that I'm going to talk about is entertainment vibe down here. There's a really great amphitheater that uh, they do a summer concert series and some really big names this free or really affordable concerts right over there rustic market and salt which is a really great restaurant pie bar and then some boutiques as well fashion cupcake dare to be different so there's truck and tap you'll uh, a lot of these names will be familiar uh, there's one of those in Alpharetta too but that is the original Jekyll brewery so you can get beers at Jekyll beers at truck and tap there's a lot of places to get beers and then Reformation brewery they do a really great summer concert series over there free or very low priced affordable concerts uh, and then right there behind me if you saw the tractors they're doing a huge uh, parking deck and a boutique hotel they're doing a huge parking lot I think it's 650 parking spots that are going over there big because uh, that's one of the downsides is this place is busy so parking can be a hassle but a boutique hotel like I said everything that everyone wants in Alpharetta you can get here now the median price just to give you some perspective the townhomes over here the condos 500 to 600 the townhomes 800 or ish to the single-family homes are over a million well if you were in take the same thing and you go to downtown Alpharetta well the townhomes 
are now, you know, high, almost a million dollars. Like the townhomes in that close proximity. And then the single family homes, million, two million. And then the really nice ones are, could be three, four million dollars. If you've seen the channel, you've seen um, some of those that we've featured in some of the home tours. Another brewery, uh, this is one of my favorite parks to bring the family and it's right here in the downtown area. And uh, you can get the same thing that you get in Alpharetta, but in Woodstock for two, three hundred thousand dollars less, depending on what you're shopping for. Uh, Money Magazine actually called uh, Woodstock one of the best, the number 17 best place to live in the entire country. It was like maybe two years ago that it made the list. It's always kind of on the list, but that was the highest placement ever. And uh, 17 out of the entire country is pretty good. Uh, you may have seen my other video, Evans, Georgia, at one point was number one. So if you haven't checked that out, you need to check out that. But 17, not bad. Uh, it's located in Cherokee County, and it's the number one place to live in Cherokee County. Um, and then not just this downtown, Town area but great shopping outlets out that, that are just down the street people drive from all over to get to those outlets as well as all the normal stuff that you would think about like grocery stores and Target and like the major national chains things of that nature but then uh, things like Costco and uh, the outlet mall so all the major shopping as well as the local boutiques that I've shown you but here over on this side I showed you or told you about the amphitheater on the other side they actually have one right here too where there's all kinds of entertainment you have restaurants or uh, restrooms right there and you have this little outdoor amphitheater right here for music and shows and then this beauty is where the kids and the family all come to play check that out my kids love it i have uh the oldest turns 10 tomorrow my youngest is four soon to be five we had four kids in five years so they absolutely love this area in my opinion is even more family friendly there's tons of families and stuff going around in alpharetta but uh, they don't have anything like that or even like this. So we frequently come to Woodstock uh, to hang out. Right over here behind me, I don't know if you can see this gal walking in. If she would have kept going straight, that takes you right into this uh, really long path where you know you walk, ride your one wheel, bike, all those things connects a bunch of neighborhoods. So if you live along, you want real estate along that, that path, then it's really valuable. Here we have Reformation Brewery. They also have coffee and then it's the middle of the day everyone's uh, in the middle of the summer uh, but in the evenings and on the weekends that park this amphitheater this whole area absolutely packed i mean bonkers this is the place to be they also do like community business networking host like all kinds of events there there's that path i was telling you about where you can go for a run or a nice long walk so all kinds of national retailers local retailers some of the best uh, restaurants this is all down here but across uh, Cherokee County the schools are amazing so you're gonna get really great schools um, some of the best in the state and some even ranked nationally so if you're looking for uh, a safe place to live lots of uh, very low crime very safe for kids and for families and for people and by the way these videos are not meant to like steer you as much as they are just give you some insights I get all this information from uh, a variety of sources whether it's our local uh, MLS for data or national demographic sources or great schools or the actual school board themselves or niche.com like there's a lot of resources that we use to kind of help paint a picture um, and it's not about telling you that one's better than the other or that you should pick one over the other it's really about just helping you understand what the different areas what they look like what the lifestyle's like so you can make an informed decision for yourself and so this should be part of your due diligence process there's about 35,000 uh, people in the population here so maybe for you that's like a, a, a small town and maybe for you that seems like the big city so 35,000 people the median home value is around five hundred thousand dollars at the moment you know that changes from month to month you know real estate cyclical throughout every year not just in totality but annually and so we're in an upswing and uh we're just north of 500,000 in terms of home values here in uh Woodstock Alpharetta Johns Creek those are more like 650 700,000 to put it in perspective and so uh those are a lot of the great things the median uh, household income is 96,000 the average is 108,000 in the comments below by the way do you know the difference between median and average when I say median household income or median home price versus the average home price the average income so down here is going to be that other amphitheater uh where they uh, Ellie and Drew Holcomb and the neighbors, they were over there last summer, really great show. If you know the difference between median and average, let me know. Uh, when we do tours like this, you know, one of the things that I try to do is like, you, I don't know if you live here locally or you live across the country or on the other side of the world. We just had some clients relocate from Sweden 
um, try to give you all the information you need to like make an informed decision. What information do you want? Like what, what, do you, what should I not bother with? What should we feature more of? Or is there anything that we're missing? Are we on point? Like join the conversation, you know what I mean? And if you are getting value while we're at it, you should just smash the uh, like and subscribe button. Over there, that is, I don't know if you see across here, that's the amphitheater, amphitheater. That's where they're putting in the hotel in the parking deck. This is kind of the outskirts of that downtown area. I've talked about a lot of the good, uh, but you can't have good without the bad. So really, uh, from my perspective, the three main cons of living in uh, Woodstock, one would be, you know, if you need to go into the city on a regular basis, then it could be an hour. But if you're just doing that to go down to like an Atlanta United game or to go to uh, the airport. The airport might be another 15 minutes past the city because it's on the south side. But if you're just looking to go to an Atlanta United game or the airport or into the city occasionally, then you should be fine. But if you're gonna do it every day, the long commute might be troublesome. Uh, in addition to that, the infrastructure hasn't really kept up with the growth. So as you can see, they're still developing, they're growing stuff, they're uh, building more and more and more. And so it's kind of happened faster than the infrastructure could keep up. And so the local traffic is pretty bad. Uh, especially if you're in and around this. Now, if you get away from this, it, not that big of a deal. If you live kind of, you know, 10 or 15 minutes from downtown Woodstock, your the work is not down here. And, you know, to go to Lake Altoona, that's another pro, by the way, really great lake. If you're gonna go to Lake Altoona, or you're gonna um, go to parks, recreation, hiking, biking, boating, kayaking, paddle boarding, any of that stuff, then it won't really matter. You can come down here and join the festivities. There is a Saturday farmer's market down here as well, where you can come get fresh local produce. There's a ton, but uh, one of the downsides, again, traffic, and then with that traffic, parking. So the commute into the city, the traffic, the parking, infrastructure, like those are all things that could have room for improvement, but I think that's a small price to pay for the high affordability, great economic engine, high income, reasonable real estate prices, all that downtown Woodstock has to offer. Schools, safety, small town feel, friendly people. Woodstock is definitely a winner in my book. I don't think it gets enough credit for the quality of life that you have when you live here. And so how about you? What did you think about Woodstock? What did you think about the tour? Is there anything that I missed that you want me to cover? Be happy to circle back and do this. If you haven't subscribed, we do stuff like this in all the different suburbs all over Atlanta so that you have the insights you need. If you love home tours, then check that out. If you haven't subscribed, then obviously do that. Whether you're moving next week, next year, anytime in between, call, text, email, schedule, Zoom, we'd be happy to help you make a smooth move or even just answer some of your questions. And until we see you in person, we'll see you on the next episode.